A common complaint about lawyers is that lawyers either don't answer the phone or that they don't return phone calls. They don't return the calls promptly or they don't return them at all. Um, I think a lot of people fail to understand the, the nature of work that the, the lawyer is involved in on a daily basis. Uh, unfortunately, to accomplish anything legally, uh, it can take months, if not years. So, uh, if a lawyer has, say, a court hearing uh, that's taken uh, months for him to, to set up procedurally and to prepare for, it's hard for him to uh, stop what he's doing uh, and set that client aside in order to, to field a phone call or to return a phone call. The uh, same thing as if the, the lawyer were involved in a real estate transaction that took months to set up or a business deal that took years in preparation. Um, the lawyer, almost on a daily basis, is dealing with high stakes legal matters uh, that have been ongoing for, for a long, long time. Therefore, the lawyer really needs to focus on what is crucial uh, on the day at hand. Uh, now, if you want to communicate with your attorney, I would say this. The lawyer is going to speak with you initially, and the lawyer is going to speak with you every time that there's something uh, essential or crucial to your case. In between time, the lawyer may or may not um, uh, have much communication with you. But if you call the lawyer uh, constantly, uh, then he's going to be less likely to respond to you. Um, it's also always better to email the lawyer. This way the lawyer doesn't have to stop what he's doing the moment you call uh, and give you his time and his attention. Okay? He can get to the email uh, when, when things are slow and when he has time. And then just lastly, while we're talking about lawyers' phone calls, um, and the, a question arises whether the lawyer is going to bill you for the phone call or not. If you hire a lawyer from a large law firm, um, then it's almost guaranteed that the lawyer is going to bill you for the phone call. However, if you hire a lawyer from a small firm uh, or a solo practitioner, I would say it's probably about a 50-50 chance uh, that the lawyer will bill you. Some lawyers bill and some do not. So the best thing to do is to just ask the lawyer uh, before you uh, enter into the lawyer-client relationship. Ask him if he's going to bill you for phone calls. But either way, um, there needs to be mutual respect. Okay, The lawyer needs to give you his time and his attention when it's due. And you need to be respectful of the lawyer's uh, time in between time. Okay, In between the, the initial conference and the hearing, uh, if something's not crucial, um, then you may want to think twice about communicating with your lawyer, or if you do, uh, you may want to send an email rather than uh, call him on his phone.